what a wonderful day to celebrate 147 years of graduates finishing their time at Keystone College and stepping out into the world to make a positive difference. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, spouses, cousins, friends, neighbors, companions. Thank you. Thank you for joining your hands and your hearts in support of these graduates of Keystone College. The sacrifices that you have made both emotionally and financially will have a long-lasting positive effect for the next hundred years on your families and communities. In particular, parents, when you encourage your sons and daughters to come to Keystone, you gave them a chance at a life now full of possibilities as they join more than 17,000 alumni, 17,000 alumni who are found in every walk of life in this community, this region, and in the world. Students, thank you. Thank you for trusting in the Keystone Promise and selecting us. Thank you for choosing to stay when others left. Thank you for giving your best, even when you weren't sure what your best was or which direction you wanted to go. Thank you for making this college, your college, a brilliant beacon of progress through persistent effort. That's our motto, V F it's V, progress through effort. You believed in Keystone, you belong to Keystone, and you persevered in a thoughtful community, and now you have become bright, confident, full of promise, and promises kept. And along the journey, I know you've made friends for life and learned with top-notch professors and teachers. Some of you gathered here today may remember a film, 1985 film, directed by Peter Weir called Witness. And the film depicts a, a policeman, John Book, who goes into hiding in Amish country to protect a young Amish boy who is a witness to a murder. And at one point, the small boy, his name is Samuel Lapp, he finds and handles the policeman's gun. And his grandfather, Eli Lapp, admonishes his grandson to never touch the instrument of violence. And with strong resolve, he says, what you take into your hands, you take into your heart. What you take into your hands, you take into your heart. A similar connection between hands and heart was made in 1610, believe it or not, in Shakespeare's play, The Tempest, when at one point in the play, the character Ferdinand reaches out and says, Here's my hand. And the receiver of his affections, Miranda, replies, and mine with my heart in it. This tender scene is reminiscent of Shakespeare's earlier plays, such as Romeo and Juliet, and was refashioned in the 1957 Broadway production, West Side Story, in the beautiful Bernstein Sondheim song, One Hand one heart. And then about a dozen years after that West Side Story play in 1970, the, the Motown singer Diana Ross, formerly of the Supremes, included in her concerts an Ashford and Simpson song called Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand. And then she would invite the audience to turn to their neighbors as a sign of unity to reach out and touch their hands. I used to think such words were merely sentimental or romantic exaggerations of idealized love, but I was wrong. When my wife Delia and I brought our two sons into the world, we realized that the small things matter most. Holding the hand of a toddler, wiping the tears from a three-year-old's eyes, or kissing a bruised knee. The little things matter a great deal. Attention to small personal details, such as someone's name, reminds people of their dignity and worth because they are important, because you are important. What do you think? 
Can we reach out for 10 seconds to the person next to us and introduce ourselves? Go ahead, why not? That was easy, right? That was easy. That's all it takes. It takes 10 seconds, that's it. Now you're all smiling. You should see what it looks like up here. You're all smiling. Before you're all like freezing. Now you're smiling. This is great. This is great. You see, at Keystone College, we're part of a tradition that invites us to reach across boundaries and grow a democracy that's comprised of an ethical citizenry. When we join our hands and our hearts together for the right reasons, then the strength of friendship forms a solid foundation of our vibrant community. And I am delighted to announce that today, we have been reaching across boundaries for 150 years. That's right, see that banner up there? 150 years, Keystone College. And for the next year, we'll be celebrating that. So grads, make sure you come back. There's gonna be at least five parties that I know of, all right? So we want you to come to them, celebrate with us, celebrates your college's 150th anniversary of believing in students, of creating a place for students to belong, and the place in the community where students become their best selves. So graduates, what have you witnessed at Keystone? What have you taken into your hands and into your hearts? What gifts of learning have you gently reached out for and received with humility. I hope you have seen us model generosity and thoughtfulness and interdependence and a passion for compassion lived in integrity and responsibility. But, but if along the way you or we have been careless or thoughtless or if we've let you down, please let us know. Let us know so that we can try to make it right. It's never too late to repair a wrong and it's never too late to reconcile, to rejoin our hands and our hearts to choose wholeness and healing. And finally, I invite you to measure your life's success by the ways you reach out your hands and hearts to help others. By the ways you reach out your hands and your hearts to help others. Nothing else really matters. Not money, not power, not popularity, not material goods, not social status. None of these things really ultimately matter. Focus on the little blessings of life. Put your heart into whatever you do. Live your lives fully in a profession, a career, a cause, a community, a promise. And make your heart and home an open-handed place of affection and song as we have tried to do here in this caring and dynamic community. I hope that you'll come back often to visit your college. For now, thank you for coming today and joining your hands and hearts in support of each other. You're a beautiful sight to witness.